So we are back. We're going to do our very, very last one of the Summer Super Series right now. And we are revisiting our friends at Toad Hollow. This is Risqué. And this actually is their partnership with the a French firm. So this was done in Le Mans, or Le Mans, Le Mans, France. So, wow. France, excuse me. France. But our very good friends, Toad Hollow, they rock. So we're going to do a little taste. And this one is, can you get my finger toward Not a Stelvin enclosure. Not a Stelvin enclosure. Certainly, Certainly not anymore. Definitely effervescent. Definitely effervescent. Definitely. So it's, we can't call it champagne because? Because it's not made in champagne in France. Some champagne. Zachary. It's not champagne. Uh, do we have a disembodied glass over here? Uh, we do. Sir? Nope. Would you like to hand it to the lady? I have a theory that every girl secretly loves you. Oh, you tell. Some of the boys I do. Just, um, do you love champagne? No. I think it's. Do you love champagne? That's why it's secret. Gosh. Maybe I'm. Can we cut this with orange juice? That's an unfortunate consequence. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> There's honey in this. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was calling us so, oh, honey. And because yeah, she will call you honey later. Because this one is extra special. Here is Toucat, here is the Dr. Toad, and all of our friends yes. are out in the hall. Cheers, sir. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, and in the words of Cat, Zowie. There you go. Oh man, this is honey through and through. This is lovely. It tastes super <laughs> nectar. It does, and I could definitely taste the honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my I gosh, I'm in love. No, this no. is my new like, summer drink. This is. See, I, I still don't taste the raisins. But it's the honey. No, it tastes. Yes, the honey. I, I taste the, the raisins too. It's the sweet, subtle honey. Mm -hmm. It's the honey they were tasting, yeah. not yeah. the raisin. Well, they're, it's they're trying to quantify the sweetness. Yeah. But I, they were saying When she said it, I actually, I tasted it. I don't know if it was suggestive, but I tasted Candy. it. Yeah. So yeah. Th this is it's definitely one of those. It's the honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, maybe tasted with a little Like a clovery honey. Mm. Mm. Now, see, that has a finish. This is, this is... Sit on the porch, mm -hmm. invite your neighbors over, and just sit all day Sunday and things. have this. Mm -hmm. hey, this is lovely. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Lovely. This is why every girl secretly loves champagne. See, I feel like champagne is usually a little too dry for me. So more, but, more there's, but there's, oh man, but the yeah. Moscato's and the. Oh, I love Moscato. The, the non champagne champagnes. Yeah, but Scotto is too sweet wine. for me. Yeah, I'm sparkling wine. So if this is made in France, right? but it's still called a sparkling wine because it's not it's technically not in champagne. champagne. <laughs> it's not bottled exactly. champagne. Yeah. Champagne. Oh, Joey. Although I'm sure I would drink that. This is a gift. This is lovely. Champagne. Yes. Yes, as far so, as you know, we love our French folks. Hey, why have you never so sponsored a French So is this a, a, a one-year? It's a long story. <laughs> they don't want to come here. There's, there's not a, a lot of interest. Yeah. So I think how it's bought all is, is I mean, I, part of I what, think it's a part of what adds to a wine class to me is the presentation. And obviously that's, that's true. I mean, they work really hard on the label and everything, but this right here, this right here sells it for me. The beer top? That sells it for me. It's not beer top. It's just that classic. Well, you're putting it under compression. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah an engineer guy. Right. This is this is this is sex in a bottle to me. Which is why it's risky. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And I actually, mean, you've got the effort. You've got the smoothness. You've got the you've got do, do the that vision, again. You've got the visual appeal. You have the smoothness and the effort. And, and the, the effort. effort and the visual appeal and it's it's smooth. It's sweet. And it makes me want more. So, so not like me. So anyway, we were actually talking, you know, in the monks' shoots and, and sessions and stuff. One of the things we didn't really talk about on camera, though, is the label. Not just this one. But one of the other ladies said, 
it's often I shop by label. I do that to a certain degree. Benny, would you grab that? <laughs> sure. I'll illustrate for you. So this is a fantastic bottle of wine, but I what what got me was oh I like the label. No. I oh, know. <laughs> that seems so unlike you. Oh, oh he no. almost goes into a I know. Probably smells funny. <laughs> I'm probably not going to smoke. Just kidding. It is it's provocative, and it, it, it grabs your attention. Yeah. But Tower Hollow is actually one of the first well-known or bigger places that actually did some cool stuff like this. Mo is the artist that does all this stuff. Um, I met Mo briefly once. She's really awesome. But all the stuff she does, these specific per the wines, very much. Oh well, this. If you're drinking this, what do you think of? You think of risque. It's French, little can can dancer, little frilly underwear. Yeah, it, it, it definitely um, it makes you wonder what's going to be inside there, for sure. Well, it is evocative of, of a wine that's bottled in France and all the signature cultural tones. Right. Now, remember though, label is not everything. Sometimes, it still is not good. Mm -hmm. I had something that's called like something something ass. And well, you know what? It tasted it's it. <laughs> Represented ass. <laughs> so on that note, we are out. Thanks for joining us. Here's to you. Cheers. Peace. Cheers. Cheers. It's very